Hey everyone, Gemma here. I hope you're all doing well today. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can get some really cool items such as some special scratch tickets, AO Domina, so on and so forth. And this is through a new type of limited quest that we had drop in the Redham Desert. Now, you may have already unlocked the Ronaldine quest. These will actually be going away, at least the current set of them, on February 22nd. They may end up refreshing them with new content that's coming out so that it's more relevant. That's at least what I think is going to happen. But in this video, I'm going to go over all the drops you can get from this and why it's actually worth your time to get these done. Here is Ronaldine. Now, she's located in Redham City, just next to the player shop and the item shop. She is also located out front of the central city tower. But to actually access her quest, you will need to complete the story of chapter 2. And then once you have completed the story of chapter 2, you do need to reach a battle power of 1633. Once you've done that with this Redham's Independent Partisan Squad, she'll start giving you those tasks, basically allowing you to get these really cool rewards. So just go through the process of leveling up to 35, upgrading your gear, whether it's enhancement, doing the augmenting or affixing, unlocking the potential, so on and so forth. Just do all that stuff as that does contribute to upgrading your battle power. Also, make sure you use all your class skill points. Let's go over all the unlocks. So you get two X cubes by defeating 500 enemies in Redham Al Noth and then 500 in Makid lower level for training 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One, is 30 Dessa Swords and 30 of the San Rorons. 30 dots and that'll give you 10 next soul too. Just to note as well, if you go into your task list for any of these tasks, it should tell you in yellow text where you actually can farm these enemies and make it a lot easier for you. Training 1-3 is 50 Svarax, 50 of the Karagaros and 50 Svar Angelus. That is for 10 Petas Soul. Then for 4, it is Desa Gun, kill 30 of those. Dessa launches, 30 of those, and 30 Medias. I actually done this in the Makid lower level, so that'll give you 10 Dido Soul 2s. Step 4 will be defeating 5 Dune Bears, 5 Bubble Snappers, and 5 Sparty Scythes, and that's probably going to be in Redham Al Noth, and that is for a Silver Prim Sword 20, which is kind of a crappy reward. But anyway, Tier 6 is defeating 5 Sandoglyphs, 5 Kelkunos, and then 5 Renus Redums, probably going to be available in also the lower levels, a 50 Star Gem ticket. And once you've done that, you get into Tier 3. So for 3-1, defeating 750 enemies in Redum Al Noth, and 750 enemies in Makid lower level will give you 15 Photon Scales, which are a very rare material indeed. And then 2-2. You're going to defeat, specifically for level 30 going forward, 100 Sand Tinos, 50 Sand Roroxes, and 50 Sand Dots. That's going to give you 40 Monomate, Trimate, and Diamate as well. And then on to step 3, that is going to be 50 Glass Negs, 50 of the Rufin Bears, and 50 Cropus. That'll give you 40 Photon Chunks, Photon Quartz, and 40 Tetracite. Now this next one's a really good one. For step 4, it's going to be 50 of the Dessa Guns, 50 Sandra Roms, and 50 Branicles for 10 AL Domina. Very useful. I would absolutely be rushing to get this one. A very useful and also very expensive capsule on the market currently. Step 5 is defeating 10 Fortis Losses, 10 of the Svarcurios, and 10 Svarleons. That's actually going to give you 3 of the X Cubes. Then you're going to get another one of those Silver Prim Swords, plus 20. That's going to be defeating 10 of the Sand Noglas, 10 Fortos Lasers, and 10 Arenas Redums. And then on the final step, Step 7, defeat 1 Veteran Kelkuno, 1 Veteran Lazentos, and 1 Veteran Dital Hammer. And that one is going to give you another 50 Star Gem ticket. And then on to Set 3 of these tasks. What you're going to be doing is going to Redham Al Noth and Makid lower levels, defeating 1,000 enemies, and you'll get five of each of the Redham Note A, B, C, and Ds. And that's enough to give you, with a few other materials, one of the Red Dominus. Step two is defeating 100 Sanrorons, 100 of the Sanroroxes, for five of the Red Yellow triggers, allowing you to go in and do the Red Yellow Portal. And then for step three, defeating 200 Mummy Dogs, 200 Karagaros, 100 glass negs and 100 roof and bears. That's going to give you an enhancement success rate 100%. The only other way to get one of these currently is by doing the special scratch if you're lucky. I maybe not lucky if you don't like these. Then on to step four defeating 100 sand dots, 100 branicles, and 100 medius for a rare drop rate 20%. Incredibly useful, especially if you do hold it on for the PSO2 day. Step 5 is defeating Sand Noglefs, 20 of them, 
20 Fortos launchers and 20 bubble snappers for an N augmentation success rate 20%. And then the next, next one is actually the one I'm going for myself. That is step six. And we're going to be defeating 20 of the Fordos lasers, 20 Dustal Hammers, and 20 Renus Redums for 10 special scratch tickets. My lord, that is a very useful, especially if you are going for all the cosmetics before they potentially go away at some point. Now, if you do the seventh step, that's going to be defeating three of the veteran Sparty Scythes, three of the veteran Svalons, and three veteran sand noglyphs or 10 of the red purple triggers you could sell those for quite a bit they're going for over 100k on chip one otherwise that's two runs of that red purple trigger the battle deer you can run that with your mates and then finally the final task at least that we've got right now we've got training eight and this is defeating malevolent enemies which are gigantics in redum region three kilkundos three lazentos three Fortos lasers and three Dustal hammers for 100 star gems. So that's a total of 200 star gems you can get by doing all these different tasks in this quest chain. So let's just go over all the items you're going to be getting, starting with a total of 200 star gems, 10 special scratch tickets, and then for N tickets we have N rare drop rate 20%, N enhancement success rate 100%, N augmentation success rate 20%, 5N X cube, 10 purple red triggers, 5 yellow ret triggers, 10 AL domina, 5 of each of the ret note A, B, C, and Ds, and then we get 10 of each of the souls to Edis next Dital. We've also got 15 photon scales, 40 of the monotite, dualamite, and trinite, 40 photon chunks, photon quartz, and tetracite, and then you get a silver prim armor and a prim sword that's plus 20 each. Now I did make a little boo boo earlier when I said it was two of the swords, but yeah, it's just an armor and a sword there. All right, so if any of this information has been useful, do consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications for my videos below. It does help the channel and it's a free way to support me. I will be continuing to make new Genesis content for the unforeseeable future. I've got no reason not to make content for it. I have so much fun with it and I hope you do too. Now, I do want to give a special thanks to those who do support a little bit further with the patrons. I appreciate every single one of you and also the YouTube channel members. All the information for this is in the description below or through that join button just next to the subscribe button on the YouTube panel. We've got about another week until we have the winter update, which I'm very excited about. Finally, it's going to be time for me to level up all my classes. But until then, if there is any videos above that you want to check out, they may be helpful in your progression with New Genesis. Especially if you are trying to get access to the Ronaldine tasks, as they do give some pretty good rewards as you've seen in this video. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye bye.